Some time ago, Chris from Dreams Team, he sent me this beautiful little model kit. It's some kind of little soldering lamp and I think it's a really cute one. And Chris had absolutely no time to build this kit because first he had his workshop completely flooded, so lost about everything and after that he had COVID, so he asked me if I wanted to build the thing. And of course the answer is absolutely, let's do this. So this is the complete kit, I leave it in the box, not to lose too much little bits and pieces. And I think it's a really cute little lamp. If I put these parts together, the don't fit yet, but they will. Look how cute this is. All this blah blah is in German, so I don't understand a pin of it. The filler cap. There's a safety valve I have to build. And I already started a little bit to clean up this part. This should be 12 millimeter round, marked here. And these little holes were oval. So to make them round I made this little shaft here like a forming tool and then very slowly and carefully I forced it in and now it seems to be 12 millimeter. So this is good or almost. Okay, page two. I have to start to make the filler cap and the other cap that takes the wick that goes to the burner. One part 20 mm length and the other 16 mm length and both with an internal thread of 8 mm at 0.75. Now I don't have a tap or die at 0.75 but I can cut this on the lathe. To clean up this part, in fact just a little piece of pipe, I took steel pipe, turned a little bit down and now I have a slip fit here and that was just enough friction to be able to cut this surface and then of course also the other side, come on other side, go back on, okay, give a little clean. I don't have to clean too much of course because this thing is gonna be soldered so in here I need to drill a, and tap a 2 mm hole at 30 mm from the bottom but I think I will do that later when I make the handle. to resharpen this drill and I'll be back. That was much better. I never had much luck parting off here on the lathe. It just doesn't want to work. But I refuse to give up, so let's try again. It worked! 
Now I have to make this little recess here. 11 and 2 millimeter deep. Aha! Uh -huh. I have a problem. The tool is too big to make this recess. I don't have a smaller one. So I'm gonna install the threading tool. That looks uh, spot on. Before I started cutting the threads in the real part, of course, I did a little bit experimenting because I don't have the right drill size. So this now is a little bit oversized. And if you think cutting threads in a blind hole or in a deep hole is stressful, but uh, no, it's not. When the tool is just passing the other side here, I have a zero. Now, when I turn the machine off, I know that it needs one and a half millimeter to go further before it completely stops. So I engage. If I watch my dial that you can see, but it's here. If I stop somewhere, not even one and a half millimeter. So let's cut threads. Depth of cut two tenths. That works. And of course I made two of them. It's basically two times the same part. Just that one is a bit longer than the other one. And they even fit with a little bit of pushing. That's good. Right, now time to make the filler cap. And in the filler cap, this one, there is a safety valve so i have to drill a hole through this thing of course cut the thread on it but in the kit there is no bolt provided to make this part so i will use just a metric tree thing that i have here in the package is a spring and a very cute tiny little o-ring let's make a cap I think I have to try something else because it doesn't leave a nice finish. Let's see. That's better.
here's the cap as I think it's supposed to look with the spring loaded bolt in here and then the cute little o-ring that I hope will make it airtight and this one fits in here and this one will be soldered in here with the other one right let's make number seven which will be made out of this little piece and basically it's just a piece of pipe that's closed off on the top and it will hold the injector i suppose it's a little bit more or less the same operations than four and five it will be just drilling because the od is the right size 10 millimeter cutting some threads and then in the milling machine drill a five millimeter hole at 12 millimeter from the edge let's do this That will do. As you can see, this works and now I need to drill a 5.7 millimeter hole in here and I even found in my pile of junk a 5.7 millimeter drill bit 47 millimeter deep I had to stop working on this part for a moment because this is six millimeter it's part number nine here this one I drilled the hole three millimeter no problem of course and it needs a thread of of course six but at 75.75 now cutting the outside thread with my cutting tool here, no problem, but the inner thread, I can't, this tool is too big and I don't have the good materials to make a very small one, so I invested in a die. This one is of course 6 by 1 and the drawing say 6 by 0.75 but I suppose that's not really a problem I need to buy another die metric 4 I have the taps but the die uh, they run out of stock in the store so I have to wait a little moment a few days they have new now lucky I am here is my die holder thing for the late for the moment there's an 8 millimeter thing in here and if I take my new one the 6 it fits so now I don't have to make new tooling or nothing at all just install my 
brand new little 6mm die in here and the plan also says to drill a hole 1.5mm here in the same part I don't have, I only have 1.3 but I think that will do right let's go back to the lathe and let's cut some threads on this thing and then do the, of course the other features drill 1.5 and drill a cross hole in here I think the easiest way will be now to drill the cross hole in here and then come back to the lathe, part it off, drill the 1.5 hole all through and finish it off with the right shoulder. To hold this little part here, the V block doesn't want to cooperate. So on the parallel it will be the idea that this little thing here is six millimeter and I have to drill a hole four and a half hmm that's gonna be stressy And this is where I end part one of, I hope, a two part video. Now I want to apologize for the inconsistent video I just made, but the last two weeks have been very hectic. A lot of things to do, a lot of things happened. We spent lots of time doing things for Ukraine people. I had a car breakdown that I had to fix. I have the terrible flu also. So if you feel the earth moving under your feet, it's not an earthquake, it's just me coughing. So it was a little bit complicated to stay focused on the project and stay focused on the video. But I hope you enjoyed it anyway. If everything goes well in part two, I will finish the thing and give it a test run.